Jared Polin, Fro Knows Photo. Dot com. It's super secret project time again. Yep, super secret project. This video falls right into that very beginner information. And maybe it's not just for beginners. Maybe you won't understand this or never understood this. What is this? Full frame versus crop sensor. Or on Nikon side, it's DX and FX. Which lenses can you use? Or how do you determine whether it, what the millimeter of your lens is? Um, so I have three example or sample cameras here. We have a D7000, a 60D with an 18 to 135 kit lens on it, and this is a what they would say DX or what what a, what does Canon call these things? I know crop sensor only lens, and then this is an F5. Oh, check this out! Check this sound out. You ready for this? You ready for this? Wait, hold on, let's make this F14. That's right, that's a film camera for you. Uh, with the 50 millimeter 1.4 on there, and that is a film lens or a non, that's a full frame lens. So how does this work? How do you know which lens is to multiply and which lens is not? The answer to that question is you multiply every lens that you put onto a cropped sensor. You don't multiply on a full frame because it's a full frame sensor. That lens is going to cover the whole sensor. In this case, this Canon has an 18 to 135 on it. But does that mean that the lens is 18 to 135 in terms of full frame? No. You multiply every Canon non-full frame camera, every Canon cropped sensor camera by 1.6. So any lens that you put on it, whether it's full frame or cropped, you multiply by 1.6. On the Nikon side, you multiply by 1.5 because their sensor is a little larger on that smaller end than what the Canon is. So this 18 to 135, you multiply it by 1.6 to get the equivalent of the millimeters if it was on a full frame. So this lens right here is a 50 millimeter lens. It's 50 millimeters on this camera. If we take it off and put it onto the D7000, what happens? You multiply this by 1.5. So this lens is no longer a 51.4, it's now a 75 1.4. You're getting more bang for your buck on a DX body or on a crap, cr crap, on a cropped sensor. That's because, and, and, and let me just also say this, this lens is even better on a crop sensor. Full frame lenses can work on cropped sensor cameras. People have asked me that. Can my full frame lenses work on that? Absolutely they can work on that. The, the lens is even better on a crop sensor because you're using the center portion, the centermost portion of the lenses, which tend to be the sharpest. So that's a bonus to using non-crop lenses or full frame lenses on your cropped bodies. So what is the benefit or what do you need for wider angle lenses on DX or crop sensors? Well, you want to look at things like ultra wide lenses. Now the old, this 18 to 30, 135 will not work on a full frame Canon body. Plus you wouldn't want to put that on a full frame body just because you don't want to put that type of lens on that. Um, so you're going to multiply every single lens on the DX side or crop sensor side. What this means is that you'll get more bang for your buck on longer lenses. So if I put a 70 to 200 on this Nikon, it's no longer a 70 to 200 2.8. Why? Because we multiply by 1.5. It becomes a 100 to 300 2.8. That's amazing because if you needed to buy a 300 2.8, you'd be spending $6,000 to get a lens like that to work on a full frame body. So that's what's great about cropped cameras. Your lenses will get more range. So that's good, but you lose the wide angle. That's why you have to get the so-called cropped sensor or the cropped lenses, DX on Nikon side. That's why you get DX lenses, because they allow you to shoot wider. But you cannot take, well, on Nikon's end, you can take the DX lens and shoot it on a full frame body. I don't recommend doing that because you lose the quality of your full frame camera. Your megapixels get cut in half. My D2H, uh, D2H, my D3S would go from 
12 megapixels down to 5.4 or something like that. And that's not something that I would want to do. So really you don't want to put DX lenses on full frame cameras, but you would want to put full frame lenses on DX bodies. So I hope that explains it and puts the, puts the rest all of the questions that come out of what is a crop sensor or what lenses are meant for that and how do I determine the millimeters of my lens. So that's it. Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.